Good morning, my friends. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I am so excited because today we are going to do a little shopping. We are going to go to the mall. I think I mentioned in my last vlog that my daughter had lacrosse tournaments like the, every, every weekend almost in June. So I haven't really been able to film a vlog in a while and we are actually getting ready to go on vacation. So I want to look for a couple new like tropical dresses. I I think I already have a good amount, but I just want to see if there's any like last minute things to get. I want to go to Sephora. I want to kind of look at, I don't know. I just want to look at a lot of different things. And I thought I would take you guys along with me. I always love bringing you guys along with me when I film vlogs. So let's start by sharing my outfit. These are some Kendra Scott earrings. I made these with the color bar and I actually got them purposely because I thought they would match uh, that bag. And I am going to wear that bag today. But I also have this dress. This is an eyelet dress. It is from Vici. I will show you a better look in the other mirror, but I am going to wear that bag. This is my Chanel classic flap in the neon blue. Oh my gosh. I am in love with this color. I was so blessed and excited to add it to my collection. So I'm going to wear this today. And then I think I'm going to wear my Steve Madden travel sandals. Those sandals are just so comfortable. They are from a few years ago, but I just love them. And whenever I wear dresses in the summer, those are just super comfortable if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. My fragrance of the day is going to be this Ellis Brooklyn Florist. Oh, this perfume smells so nice. It is a really nice floral spring summer scent. I love it and I love the packaging. And then my lip of the day is this Hermes in Rose Confetti. This is a pretty pink. It's kind of like a balm. I already have the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty uh, in Confident on my lips and I like to put this over top really really pretty keep it in my purse and who doesn't love the packaging okay so let me show you what's in my bag and then I'll show you the full head to toe look okay here is the beautiful Chanel classic flap I am going for a pink and blue theme today so let's open it up I do have a Zumoni organizer in the pretty blue this is one of the thinner versions I don't really like to use the thick versions in my Chanel classic flap because I don't want it to stretch the bag so I just have this beautiful little Chanel um, card holder that I'll pop in there I have a little by the pool card holder this is where I just have have a little bit of cash and then I also have this new um, little key pouch from by the pool where I have major credit card um, uh, my ID and then I have my key fob attached pop that in there and then I have my little lipstick from Hermes pop that in there and then I have a tamp and that is everything that I am bringing with me today all the essentials fit perfectly here is the full look. I have some Chanel aviator sunglasses on, my Kendra Scott earrings that I made from the color bar, my eyelid dress from Vici, my travel sandals that are so comfortable, and then my Chanel classic flap. So that is the full look today, and let's go ahead and do some shopping. All right, I am getting ready to head out. I have my granola bar for the ride. I love these. And then I have my greens. I've mentioned I love having this every morning. Mm. And then we'll get something to eat when we get to the mall and hopefully we can find some things. I'm so excited. As I mentioned, we are leaving for vacation this week. I can't wait. It's just Dave and Skye and I. We're going to a tropical location. We're also going to an amusement park. It should be so much fun. It'll just be nice to get away. Like I love working from home, but I'm at my house all the time. So I'm just excited to go someplace different. So again, today I want to just kind of pick up some last minute things. Today is really the last day I'll be able to do it. So I want to look for maybe some new dresses when we go to dinner. I want to look at Lily Pulitzer because I love their dresses for beach, beach vacations. I think they're nice and tropical. I also want to go to Sephora and just kind of we'll see what we can find. So I'm going to bring you guys along with me and let's get going. From my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me I keep on trying to think 
sand Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end Lost my head or fill my spark between the chores and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving back and I did a little damage I had some success I really did I had to try to be a little good though I could have gone a little overboard but I didn't of course I went into Lululemon and I got a couple things there I bought a couple things from Sephora I also went into Lily Pulitzer and they had some beautiful dresses I tried on four different dresses but I was only allowed I told myself I'm only allowed to get one and then I also went into Louis Vuitton and I got two little items no it is not a handbag although I did try on the most beautiful bubblegum pink Kusin bag it was absolutely stunning but I was just trying not trying it on they also had the beautiful raffia neverfull but you know that I just picked up my my Dior bag which I've been loving for summer I wore that the other day when I went out for Father's Day so I have really really been enjoying that but yeah so what I'll do when I get home I will share with you these items and I want to give a special hello to the subby that I met in Lily Pulitzer she was so sweet and she said excuse me she goes are you a youtuber and I said and I was like, you know, kind of like that. And she's like, oh my gosh, I thought that was you, but I wasn't positive. So I always thought, think it's so sweet when people come up to me. Of course, I don't have a ton of people coming up to me. So I thought that was really, really um, sweet of her. So thank you again for coming up to me. So new, anyway, we're going to head home. I'll share with you what I got. And then I might also stop for a coffee. I have a little bit of my greens mm, left, but they're almost gone. It is so hot right now, I could really use an iced coffee. So maybe I'll get one later, but we'll see. So let's go ahead, let's get going, and then when I get home, I'll share with you everything I got. Um, Can I please have a grande iced vanilla latte? Grande iced vanilla latte? Thank you so much. Okay, so I am back home. I have my coffee. Mmm. This is exactly how I like it. I like it like the lighter color, like almost like a tan. So good. Okay, so where should I start? So as I mentioned, we are leaving for vacation this week. I'm so excited. Other than our normal beach vacation that we do every year, we have not been on a fun trip in so long as a family, actually way before COVID. So we're so excited. We're going on a cruise. We're also going to go to an amusement park. I can't wait. And of course, I will be sure to share all the details when I get back. But I wanted to pick up a couple of things for the trip. So let's start with Lulu Lemon. So... We are going to an amusement park and to an amusement park I like to wear athletic gear and I typically like to wear like workout clothes to an amusement park so I wanted to get a new white top from Lululemon so I got this one right here this is just a white tank it was I'll tell you the price it was $38. Normally I get a size six, but they didn't have a six, so I got a size eight. And this is what it looks like. It's just very nice and lightweight, very breathable, off cotton fabric, and it has just the right amount of stretch. So I like to wear this with, you can wear some black shorts, any type of shorts. I like to wear colored bras underneath of it. So I got this 
And then you guys know how much I love the belt bag and I went into the store and I saw this one in the beautiful lilac color. This is in the size large. So this one is a little bit bigger than the black one I have. I will insert a picture of me wearing the black one. This one is a little larger as you can see, but I love these belt bags. I, this is now my third one. Two of them I have in the small size. One is black, one is a really pretty multicolor bag. And then this this one is now in the lavender and I got this because I do have a sports bra that's gonna match I will share that with you but let me share with you the bag first in case you're not familiar with it of course it is a belt bag so you can wear it on your belt but I usually wear it across like this I find that it makes it really nice and easy especially if you're at an amusement park I did wear my black one to an amusement park and it was so nice and handy it has a little zip compartment in the back here this is where you can keep anything that you need to keep secured or something you want easy access to and then on the inside of the bag you open it and it has like two it has a mesh compartment over here a mesh compartment over here so you can keep things organized you can put tamps in here you can put your wallet your keys your phone just really nice and then it has this adjustable strap too so you can adjust it to your liking and it has this little strap right there so once you do get it where you want it adjusted you can just put it through the little tab and you can see it will hold it in place so that it's not flapping so this was super cute i thought i could wear these together and let me share with you the sports bra i already have that i thought would coordinate nicely with this Okay, so I had previously purchased this sports bra right here from Lululemon. I got it a couple months back, and I thought it would coordinate nicely with this bag and this top. And then, like I said, you could wear black shorts, you could wear black leggings, depending on how warm it is, you know, it will depend on what I wear. But I thought this was really cute, a nice casual outfit. I did a dedicated video on the belt bag, the smaller size, and I just love it. I take it to the gym with me every day. It is so convenient. It's comfortable to wear he fits all your essentials and this is the perfect bag if you want to go to an amusement park and they have so many different colors do I need it no but I saw this lavender and I thought it was so cute and I thought it would pair so nicely so that's what I got from lululemon all right, now let's go to Sephora. There were, and you can see the bag kind of slouching. I went in there for one thing and I ended up getting four, wait, five things. Okay, the thing that I went in to get was this by Givenchy. This is the Prism Libre Matte Finish and Enhanced Radiance Loose Powder 4-in-1 and I got it in number two. So a lot of people have raved about this powder, but, but more recently Tati has. I love Tati's makeup. It always looks so beautiful and she's very knowledgeable about it too. So she said she's been loving this powder and she uses it to bake. So I thought that I would try it as well. It comes with this cute little puff. But you can see that there are four different sections in the powder and the lady who sold this to me at Sephora, she had it on and her under eyes look so smooth and crinkle free. It just looks so beautiful. So I definitely want to try this. I think I've mentioned to you two of my favorite powders that I use right now to bake. I love the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and then I also like the Cody Airspun powder. The Cody Airspun was a recommendation by Tati but I am getting older so I do have to be very careful and I have found sometimes my under eyes look a little dry so I'm hoping this will help um, there are a lot of different shades to choose from but the lady that at Sephora recommended this shade so I'm really excited to try this and I will keep you posted on what happens it says here ensures a sheer luminous finish during six hours without marking facial lines thanks to an ultra fine soft and airy light texture sets makeup throughout the day so i'm really excited can't wait to try this okay i got this you know when you're in line you're waiting in line and the sephora i go to always has such a long line i saw this and i was like i need to take this with me it's by shiseido clear sunscreen stick 50 plus and it's for your face and your body and it's water resistant now i am a big advocate of sunscreen i've mentioned that before and i really try to 
make sure that I'm covered up in the sun. And this is really cute. It's really pretty packaging too. It's like a blue ombre packaging. And I love Shiseido products. Um, this is really good for your skin. So you can just use this. It is a clear stick. Kind of looks like deodorant. You put it on your face. You can also put it on your neck. You can see my little spot on my neck. I have to tell you, I felt like the worst mom like two weeks ago because we were at a lacrosse tournament and I applied sunscreen to sky in the morning but you know if you're familiar with lacrosse tournaments they're all day and I didn't reapply and her little skin she got torched and I felt terrible I went to the pharmacist and I like tried to purchase like all these things to make it better but I just I know it's bound to happen with kids but I just felt so bad now I'm like over the top when it comes to sunscreen but I picked this up I thought she could use it too it's 50 plus and hopefully it'll work good okay then this is another item item I didn't need but it got me as I was going through the checkout like it usually does i love sol de janeiro and i saw this aluminum free deodorant in pistachio and salted caramel scent so let's see oh my gosh it smells so good i can't wait to use this i am learning more and more about how bad aluminum is so i definitely want to try to branch out and try some new deodorants i know there's a really good Donna Karen deodorant that everybody loves, especially during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which P.S. I am excited. The Nordstrom sale is coming up and you know, just like last year, I plan on doing a lot of videos on it. So stay tuned for that. But this smells so good. This smells like you're like you're at the beach. So I'm going to take with this with me on vacation. Let me try it. Mm, smells scrumptious and it is aluminum free. So that is another thing that I saw as I was leaving. I absolutely love body wash and I love Sol de Janeiro and I saw this Balm Dia Bright Clarifying Aha BHA body wash. Now, this smells so good. I've used the yellow one before, but I'm actually happy I got this one because when I was at the cash register and I was checking out, the lady said, oh my God, I love this. Not only does it smell good, but it's good for strawberry legs. I'm like, oh my gosh, you suffer with that too? And she's like, yes. So I don't know if you guys know what like strawberry legs are, but like when you're shaving, sometimes your hair follicles get red and like you've shaved your legs, but if you look at your legs, you have all the little red bumps and that happens to me as well. And she said that if you get a good clear clarifying body wash that's good for that and this smells delicious so let me open it I know my daughter my daughter uses our shower so I know she's gonna want to use this too oh smells so good you guys this one smells so good it's a little sweeter than the yellow one but I am so excited to use this one I love all of these scents if you're not into the body wash they also have the lotion too but I was trying to be good I came in Sephora just for the powder and now I've already bought a couple other products too but that smells good. And then the final item I got was a blush. And I remember just, it's kind of a funny story because the other day my husband and I went to the mall and I ran into Sephora and I said, come get me when you're done. And I was about to buy this. He was like, you don't need that. I was like, you're right. I don't need it. And I put it back. But then I happened to go to Sephora this time. He wasn't with me. And then I decided I needed it. So I've heard a lot about these, the uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Blushes. And this is in the shade 52 Ecstasy. Wait till you see this color. So first off, here's the packaging. It's very little. Um, it's only 3.6 grams or 0.12 ounces. But you can see the little packaging like that. In this color, oh, it is like a pure bubblegum pink. Oh my God, it actually, this matches the purse that I tried on Louis Vuitton, which I must say that pink was so beautiful. And a lot of you have told me that the Rosalie is coming out in that pink. What am I gonna do? I don't need another small leather good, but that color is so pretty and I love the Rosalie, so we'll see. But this color blush is so, so beautiful. Let me do like just like a little swatch. Ooh. Now sometimes people can get a little afraid of these like color pinks. Oh, that goes, goes on really nice and sheer. You can see, do you see that? Sometimes people can be a little like fearful of this color pink, 
but I think this looks like beautiful, especially if you have a little bit of color. And I like the fact that it's sheer. So then that way I think it'll blend nicer. So I'll probably have to use this along with the powder in like an upcoming get ready with me. But those are all the items I got from Sephora. Again, I just went in for the powder and I ended up with all these items, but what can you do? So good. Let me tell you. I've gone to Starbucks a lot and you know how you go to Starbucks and you'll get like a bad a bad drink and you're like, ugh. But let me tell you, it's worth it when you go and you get a good one. Today's a good one. Okay, let's go to Lily Pulitzer. So one of the reasons I went to the mall, I knew I wanted to get a new dress. I knew we were going on a cruise. I wanted to get a tropical dress. And when I think of summer, I think of bright colors, and you think of Lily Pulitzer. Now, I tried on a couple different dresses, but I said I could only get one, and I ended up getting this one. Any guesses on which one you think I might have gotten? Let's see how well you guys know me. They were all very pretty, but I opted for this one. This one right here is called the... Lily Pulitzer Azora Cotton Midi Dress, and I got it in a size 6. But the reason I went in, went for this one is when I walked into the store, this is what initially attracted me to the dresses. I just love the colors. Now, the only problem is I do have something similar. I will in, insert a picture. This was the other dress I was going to take. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. That looks so similar to this one, but I don't care. I just love the colors, the pretty, like, periwinkle blue and... You know, hot pink are so lovely. So that's when I got it. Also really liked the green. And then there was another one that had hot pink in it. But this is, like I said, I feel like if I left without getting this one, I would have regretted it because this is the one I really, really wanted. And I love when you go to Lily Blitzer. It comes with like a little reusable bag as well. Right, now let's talk Louis Vuitton. I was not planning on even going into Louis Vuitton, but I went in there and um, I dealt with a new sales associate. She was super, super sweet. And I ended up, you know, I tried on a couple of bags. I wasn't going to get a bag, but that pink one was just stare, like calling my name and it was so pretty. You guys know the Kusin bag is one of those bags that I'm like, oh, I just kind of have my eye on, but I don't plan on getting a bag anytime soon because you guys know I did just get my new Dior bag, which I've been loving for summer. But anyway, I picked up two items. Um, the first item is in here. So you guys may or may not be able to tell what I ended up picking up. First off, well, before I do that, let me put this right here. That is the first item. Here is the second item. And my sales associate, I have the receipt in here, and then she gave me a whole bunch of little samples here, which I like to throw in my purse. So I have a tool Filante, I have a Dancing Blossom, um, City of Stars, and then I have Airs de Absence. Uh, Absence? I don't know. So a couple of samples. All right, let's start with this one. I was super excited. She almost told me she didn't have this and I thought I was gonna have to order it, but then she was like, oh, I checked the boxes in the back and we had one. So I am talking about the brand new fragrance from Louis Vuitton. It is called Pacific Chill. I was not expecting to like this one as much as, much as I did, but if you're into fruity scents, you're gonna love this. It smells so fresh and I sprayed it. I was like, mm, I like that. And then I kept walking around the store. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh no, I really like that fragrance. So I wanted to get the small size, the one that I got, um, which is the uh, 3.4 um, fluid ounces. But at first, this is the one she said she didn't have. But then again, she went in the back and she did find it. But um, you open it like this. And if you have not tried Louis Vuitton fragrances, they are very potent and strong, but they smell delicious. Some of my favorite scents are, I love Afternoon Swim, which is a little more manly. I love On the Beach. I love California Dream. So many good ones. And this one, the bottle is so pretty. It's called Pacific Chill. And you can see this pretty green bottle that kind of goes into blue. Now, I'm gonna butcher. I'm gonna butcher the scent, but I'm gonna try. I, it's like fruity. 
I almost smell some lime, some citrus. If you like citrus scents, you're gonna love this. I asked the lady if it was more masculine, if masculine or feminine. She said it was unisex, but she definitely found that more so females come in and buy it. But I'll put the notes up on the screen, but it is so good. If you like citrus scents, definitely try this. And that box is so pretty too. And then she, they can engrave your name as well. But I was kind of running low on time, so I didn't have her do that. But just know that is um, something that they offer. But really, really pretty bottle is the next item. I'm sure you can tell what it is. Maybe not. But I love these items. And I'm sure you can tell now that I said these items. And it is a new bandeau. But which one did I get? And you might be surprised this is a newer one but it's not like something that I have and it is a beautiful blue is that not the most beautiful cobalt blue so one side is a beautiful cobalt blue and then the other side has like black and it's really really nice and I was looking at the pink ones as well and I thought how pretty is this blue especially if you wore it with like a cobalt blue dress or if I had like a white dress and then maybe some cobalt blue earrings you know how I love like the pops of color but this one I kind of went outside of my box a little bit because a lot of times I gravitate towards turquoise and pinks but I have a lot in my collection and I wanted to get something different I actually thought this would be good for 4th of July too so I love using bandos on my bags that have vachetta because it helps to protect the handle it helps to eliminate getting water spots on your but, um, handles so this was really really beautiful and the cool thing about these is you can even like you can wear them like in your hair if you wanted like I don't know something like that <laughs> you, you, you can catch the drift I can do that I could do like a little ponytail or something where you know I like tie it back you know there are so many different ways to use this I have not ventured out and used them that way right now I just kind of use them to protect the handles and kind of give a little zhuzh to my bags but I thought this was like so pretty so I got that and the fragrance some free samples and then I tried on some bags they had the beautiful Louis Vuitton raffia bag which I definitely prefer the white in the raffia over the black in the raffia because I feel like the white and raffia was a little more understated but again I'm definitely happy with the bag I picked up from Dior. I think that is a great summer bag and it has been matching it really well with everything I have. So anyway, that was my little shopping spree today. I'm so excited about our trip. We leave in a few days. It should be fun. So if you guys notice that I'm taking just a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube, maybe a week or so, that is because I am enjoying time with my family. I just cannot wait. And we have so many exciting things coming up. I don't know if I told you this, but for my birthday, we, my husband got me tickets to see Morgan Wallen and then he's a country singer and we were able to get another ticket for my daughter and it just so happens, I don't know how, but the seat is like right next to us. So we bought an extra one hoping that it would be in the same row and it happened to be the seat right next to us. So the three of us are going to go, which will be fun. And then me and one of my good girlfriends are going to see Matt Reif. He is a comedian. So he is so funny. If you haven't checked him out, make sure to do so. But we are going going to see him um, sometime in the fall so it should be really fun so anyway like usual everything I mentioned in today's video I will link down below all the dresses the Sephora items the Lululemon stuff everything I'll link down below thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and I would love to have you follow me on Instagram as well have a wonderful day you guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video Thank <laughs> you.